thousands of Tinga Tinga paintings have been sold in streets like these for decades in Tanzania. But it's the alleys of the Morogoro stores in Dar es Salaam city that are considered the true home of Tinga Tinga paintings. Striking in color and versatile, they are typically painted on canvas, wood, or malted waterproof paper. Omari Katope is an artist at the Tinga Tinga Arts Cooperative Society, which hosts around 200 talented artists who use art to express their creativity and talent through colorful Tinga Tinga pieces. For instance, when we do the history painting style, we use human-like faces, but that are cartoonish, not realistic. That's a key attribute of the style. Regardless of what we're painting, we give it a cartoon-like twist. We use a lot of dots and many vibrant colors. These are traits of the art of Tinga Tinga, lots of details and vibrant colors. The drawings themselves can be described as both comical and quirky, and images are sometimes considered a little sarcastic and bold. Over the past 100 years, the uniquely African style of art has become one of the most loved Tanzanian souvenirs. Many Tinga Tinga artists see themselves as the founder Edward Tinga Tinga's successors and usually try to maintain the founder's style. Others like to experiment with new forms and motifs resulting in varied and evolved offerings to roadside art lovers. Over the decades, Tinga Tinga art has spread across Tanzania streets and become more elaborate. What started with one man grew into an army of painters across the country. Each artist remixing the elements of the style to suit the requirements of the region's tourist-oriented market. They are especially liked in streets where tourists pass. Our paintings are especially loved by people from Europe and Asia. They come here a lot. Tinga Tinga paintings can be found in streets, shops and markets across Africa. But very few original Edward Tinga Tinga creations remain. But through artists like Omari Katope, the art will live on for generations to come.